everybody, it's your man Danelle, aka Small Guy Promotions, aka the Omaha Fatty, coming with another podcast episode of What's Up Omaha. I said, What's Up Omaha? Ah, what's up Omaha? I said, What's up Omaha? Yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Yo, man, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. For the first time in years, I did not have a podcast last week. Um, and that's okay because, you know, sometimes you just need time away. And I didn't really need time away, but, you know, I was celebrating Easter with my family and whatnot. And I just didn't feel like putting effort into a podcast. So, uh, you know, <laughs> I don't get paid for it. So one break, you know, after three years or however long it's been, it's okay. It'll be all right. Like, it'll be fine. Uh, and I was thinking about like, maybe I should release one on a different day during the week just to still get one out. Then I was like, nah, man, you know what? It's not even that serious. Um, it'll be okay. There's plenty of content out there. Uh, and I was still active everywhere else. So um, if people wanted to get their dose of small guy in Omaha fatty, it's out there. Um, but yeah, as always, thank you guys for tuning in. Please, I'm going to get this out of the way now. Please subscribe. If you're watching on YouTube, if you're listening on Spotify or wherever else, please subscribe. Um, I'm gonna make it quick and easy today. Not a lot on the agenda again, um, but I, there's a couple things that I did wanna talk about. And one being, look at my finger, look at my, my finger. <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, so people keep asking what happened to my finger. Uh, you can kind of see it's still a little swollen compared to the other fingers, you know? Um, but I do jujitsu. I practice jujitsu three to five times a week, uh, you know, six times a week sometimes. I'm, I'm just trying to get back into the flow of things uh, and get back to a regular training schedule. Um, but yeah, I was rolling and, and all my six years of rolling, never had anything like this happen, but, uh, you know, I saw it happen and I, you know, I was rolling with my boy CJ. CJ was on the podcast a few months back. Uh, for those who, uh, you know, are, are avid watchers of the podcast, CJ was on and we talked. That's my homie. Uh, we were rolling and it just happened. My hand was on his hip. I was posted out like that. And, you know, I was on, on my back on the mat and my elbow was on the mat. And he went to shift his hips. He went to switch, switch hips. And, um, my finger got caught in his shorts and just, and I guess there was a loud pop. I didn't really hear the pop. I just, heard, I just felt the pain. And then I looked down and my finger was like that. It was, it was like that. So um, I was, I was, you know, uh, I didn't like freak out, freak out. I was like angry. You know, you get, you hurt yourself. So you're like, Arr! like I kind of hoped out a little bit. Like I was just like mad that I got hurt um, and that my finger was looking back at me because they say your thumb you know, your, your thumb, you know, is the only, you know, that's the one that's supposed to bend, but my finger was, I don't know, it was bent back at me, like, hey, how you doing? And I was like, whoa, whoa, it shouldn't be doing that. And I was like, I don't have insurance until May 1st because of the new job. But luckily, we had our boy uh, Warlock there, um, our brown belt instructor, one of our brown belt instructors, well, actually, our only brown belt instructor because uh, our other brown belt, Justin Harder, got promoted to black belt uh, last weekend. So, yes, our only brown belt instructor right now, um, he was there on the scene and he was able to pop it back in for me. And I know that may sound like it's something tough or something crazy, but it's not. Like, I gave him my finger and I turned away and I, I bent down to one knee. And he put it underneath his arm and turned his back to me just in case I tried to hit him after he popped it because, you know, people react when they have painful occurrences like that or incidents like that. So but he popped it back in and I actually didn't. There was no pain when he popped it back in. So it was fine and it still moves. I just can't bend it yet. Like I can't. I, like I can't do this with it. I can't. Let's see, I can't do that. I can't. Not yet. So I still ice it and it's it's been just over a week. Uh, I can move it though, you know, so that's cool. I can move it. I just can't, I can't bend it. I don't have full control of it. It's just swollen still and right on the joint. So, you know, I'm keeping it in this to try to stabilize it 
and then I I'm, I'm trying to move it around every day and ice it uh, from time to time to try to cut down on the swelling and keep the mobility. We'll see what happens with it. Maybe I'll lose some of that dexterity um, in the finger. We'll see what happens in a few weeks, but it's fine. I can still train. I went and finished rolling uh, and we got back on it. Um, the only thing I was sad about was that I didn't take a picture of it while it was sticking out because I thought that would have been cool to take a picture of <laughs> and show people. Um, but yeah, so, you know, shout out to all my homies at 10 Planet. Thank you to Warlock for uh, holding it down and putting my finger back so I didn't have to go to the doctor. That was pretty epic. I, I appreciated that so much. Uh, you know, CJ was like, you know, when you when you're rolling with someone and they get like hurt, like you feel so bad, whether it was, you know, it's always an accident. Um, but sometimes you roll with people who roll like they don't know what they're doing. And that's that increases the opportunities for uh, the possibility to be injured. Uh, so that's why sometimes people don't want to roll with certain people because certain people don't know how to roll. Uh, you know, nicely, or like if they're rolling with a, it's a male and they're rolling with a female and they don't know how to like tone it down a little bit and they're still going like 150%, like, bro, you got this lady by 80 pounds, chill, chill, just chill out a little bit. Um, but that wasn't the case. Um, it was just a weird occurrence that happened and we rolled countless times and it's never happened before. So, uh, but you still feel bad, you know, it, and but there's no fault of CJ's. It just happened. And, you know, he felt bad afterwards and was kind of freaked out. I was like, hey, man, don't lose any sleep over it. I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. You know, I've, I'm good. It's only a finger. I've got other ones that work. So, you know, whatever. Uh, it's all good. But those things happen. Uh, again, shout out to all my 10 Planet fam. Uh, we had a, a really big celebration and promotion. Uh, last week when Harder got his black belt. So that was cool to see and witness because he's been grinding. He's like an OG OG when it comes to 10 Planet Omaha. Like he's been there from the beginning and, you know, he he puts in hard work and he's great to learn from. Love his classes and he drives like an hour, hour and a half to Omaha to, to take class and to instruct, um, you know, like three times a week. So, uh, Definitely a guy, a, a role model in the dojo, man. So uh, if anybody needs to get better, he's one of the guys that you can definitely keep an eye on and learn from. And he's got so many details in his mind. Uh, so it's great. Second thing is Easter. You know, I was going to make an Easter uh, podcast last week and I just I didn't I didn't get to it. So whatever. Um, I hope you guys all had a great Easter um, you know, I, I spent time with my family again, so that's why I didn't put any energy into the podcast. But man, I did want to say that people are crazy. First, let me say thank you to all the volunteers and workers that have, uh, you know, put in hard work and their time to put on those like community events. Um, we went to the La Vista one where they were having like 16,000 eggs. And they had them on the uh, the baseball fields at the La Vista Sports Complex. Um, no fault of theirs. Um, for us, it was not <laughs> it was not fun. Fun, you know. We got there early and we we were patiently waiting in line. And then you got these uh, parents that came like five minutes before, and then they pushed in front of all the people that were already waiting. Um, and the way that it worked was each field was a different age group and they staggered the time. So the parents that had multiple kids in different age groups could see all their kids and the kids can go and, you know, have fun. Remember, this is a kid event. This is for the kids. This is supposed to be fun for the kids. But as we waited on our thing, I guess all the groups were just, they just kept coming as the, the younger age ones ended. They brought their kids to the older age ones and we're still going out and hunting. So at first, when we got there, it looked like we were going to get some eggs, like no problem. Um, but then we were there 20 minutes earlier than the, be the start time. Uh, but then, again, all these people started coming through and pushing through the people who were already patiently waiting. So you're a douchebag if you did that. If you're one of those parents, you're a douchebag. I, I don't care. I'm not going to mince any words about it. You're a douchebag. Uh, set the example for your parent or for your kids, man. Um, not only did they push in front of the people who were already there. Now, my thought was, okay, surely these parents aren't going to go on the hunt 
and they're just going to let the kids roam free. That is not what happened. So I had my daughter. I said, go ahead, go up there. You'll be fine. And I didn't stand up there with her because I thought that, you know, you know, she's old enough to where she can go on the hunt by herself. Um, but that wasn't the case. I didn't even hear it. They had a guy with a, a, a PA system who was supposed to say go or whatever. And I never heard him say go. I just saw these parents rush the field. And I could see that my daughter didn't have any room. And then I could see her, her shoulders that were up high at first and excited. They started to slump down a little bit to the point. And it was just waves. I could just see all the eggs getting scooped up in front of her. So I just called her back. I said, hey, R, come back, come back, come back, come back. And she was disappointed. I could see it in her face. She said she was okay. But it, it it pissed me off so much. Like, I was like, man, I can't fight all these parents, bro. Like, I can't fight all these parents. Like, I could try, but I, I'm sure it wouldn't end. <laughs> it wouldn't end well. But uh, if you were one of those parents, you're straight up a douchebag. Like, you are a douchebag. Let me say it again. You are a douchebag if that's what you do. You push in front of kids. Like, it, it's candy. And yes, they had money in some of them, but whatever. Why are you pushing in front of kids? who are there to have a good time. So I said, okay, lesson learned. Not gonna do that again. So I, I, I made it in my mind that I was gonna do a Easter egg hunt. I mean, we always do one at our house, like in the yard or inside the house, uh, depending on the weather, like a small one. But I said, you know what, I told my wife, I said, I'm pissed off. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and do a big one. So I got like 40 eggs and uh, it was just my two daughters and our cousin. And and I let them, I put money in some of them and I put candy in others and uh, went to a park over by our elementary school. And, you know, I let them go on a hunt on Easter because I was like, nah, this, I told my daughter, I said, don't even worry about this. Like, this ain't it. Like, we're not gonna, this is not how we're doing the Easter egg hunt. Like, it's, it's not going down with you not getting any eggs. Like, uh, Again, I was just so pissed off. And I don't usually get like pissed off, pissed off. Like I complain about stuff, man, but I was pissed off. Like I, I it was good that I was going to jujitsu after that because like I really could have punched somebody. Uh, uh, oh man, parents, such douchebags, man. Whew. But anyway, you know, we, we find ways around the douchebaggery of, of the human being. And <laughs> that... That's why I try to be so positive a lot of times because people are so ugly. People can be so ugly, like over something as small as candy. And like, bro, it's not that serious. Let these kids go out there and have a good time. Stop overstepping and like being like so aggressive. With, there was no need for that. There was no need for that at all. Like, bro, bro. Like, I just, I don't know, man. I just, sometimes I look at people and I'm just like, Man, there's no hope. There's no hope for us. We we deserve whatever bad stuff <laughs> happens to us. But uh, then, you know, that's why we try to be a light in the dark and be positive when we can, because there's so much ugly and negativity out there. So, yeah, that's enough of that, man. Bottom line is I wasn't going to let my daughter have a horrible experience uh, for Easter. So that's what I did, uh, you know, and we've tried Easter egg hunts in the past and you know sometimes it, there's never been one like that that we've been to and we've never been to that one again shout out to all the people who put it together the organizers coordinators of that um it, it was you know I'm, I'm sure a lot of kids had a good time and shout out to them um but for the kids who didn't I hope that your parents were able to find something else for you to do because I know they're like as we walked out I heard other parents uh trying to console their kids about the experience so don't be a douchebag parent stop stealing the joy from kids if that's you you need to be slapped um, um that, that's that's what it is man like i don't know how else to knock it out of you like knock some sense into you or whatever but yeah that that's that's what needs to be done so screw you pal uh <laughs> anyway man that's that's all it is today man i said i didn't have a lot on the agenda those were the two things that i wanted to cover um uh, so thank you again for tuning in. And as I said at the beginning of the podcast, please subscribe. If you enjoy the podcast, please subscribe uh, and continue listening. Thank you guys so much. I hope you have a wonderful day. Enjoy the weather. Don't get blown away. It's like a wind advisory every day. 
uh, lately, and I don't know what's going on, but y'all have a wonderful day, regardless of the win. Uh, smile, help someone else smile, laugh, and help someone else laugh all day, every day. Yeah, peace out, y'all. Look, hold on, before I go though, I tried to do peace to somebody before, and I didn't have this print on, and I had my fingers taped, so I just did this. And I, I don't know if they really saw it that I <laughs> didn't do peace, but I, I wasn't used to it. I was like, peace. <laughs> Y'all have a good day, man. Yeah.